What is up? I'm Grim Cookie, and today we are back in the Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. As you can see, I am in Castle Volkir Keep. Never mind, it's not even a castle. I mean, technically, it's a castle, but it's called Volkir Keep. Obviously, you've played it if you've played the Elder Scrolls. If you played the Elder Scrolls, you've probably played the DLCs, which is why you've probably played this. Because this is part of the Dawnguard DLC. If you bought the Special Edition for the PS4 or Xbox One, then you automatically got all the DLCs. Right there. Boom. Bada bang. And if you have it on PC or if you have it on older consoles you probably played it already anyways so as I said we're Volkir Keep Dawnguard DLC I was here getting more blood because obviously I'm a vampire you probably don't see it here let's take out the hood well you probably saw it in the first episode I believe because I believe I played on this playthrough and basically as you can see I am a vampire I like being a vampire the ability of the vampire lord is awesome and basically in my first playthrough I'd already gone with the companions I'd already chosen to become a werewolf and I didn't really feel like becoming a vampire so in that playthrough I chose to go with basically the dawn guard I'm pretty sure that's what the majority of people chose because even though being a vampire is awesome it does have its rebounds it's it's anti buffs or whatever you could say basically it's cons and some of that is the fact that in sunlight I do not regenerate anything nothing regenerates in sunlight not stamina not health I don't know about magicka I've never really used magicka at daylight because usually ever since I became a vampire I've stuck to mainly fighting at night meaning if I can I will basically resort to waiting until night like using the wait option it's not in Fallout 4 so I mean it is in Fallout 4 but you have to be sit uh, seated and use it um so basically I usually wait tonight I never really use Magicka unless I'm fighting so I wouldn't really know but I do know that health and stamina do not regenerate in daylight if you are a vampire and that sucks it is a really bad rebound for the abilities that I wanted but the abilities I believe slightly make up for it. Whatever is required. I do not need to ask that. I was mainly waiting to ask what he has for sale. As you know, vampires need to drink blood. But if you get caught drinking the blood of people, then you will probably both, well, you know, you get caught, you get basically wanted you have to either pay them and stuff and basically when I first got the soul time because I hadn't been in a while I basically was showing that I was a vampire and so since I showed I was a vampire they noticed somehow and came to basically kill me but luckily I used a potion so instead of killing me I guess they just wanted me I was a wanted person and I had to pay him two thousand and 80 friggin gold or septums as the currency is called simply to be able to walk away now obviously with 179,400 I had 181,000 earlier but I bought stuff and basically with that much gold I don't really have to worry about paying just like 2,080 but it was still stupid so I figured you know what I might as well start using them the ones that I've gathered so you guys I don't always want to feed on people so instead I opted out for potions of blood which I had a couple of then I, I had I recently used I've used two and then recently got back three and basically as you've probably witnessed because I believe I used one in the first video the potions of blood equivalent to feeding on human blood for vampires vampires heal 100 points of health so basically if you're a vampire these are very useful to have on you they basically quench your thirst for human blood because it's basically a potion of blood it's probably hell why didn't they just put blood in it that would have made sense that would have made perfect sense but I guess they added some special attributes to the blood to basically make it to where you also heal yourself so 
we are going to look at these um I'm going to be looking through my quest for a quest we could do in this video. I do not know what I want to do yet. The orcs of Largishbur are besieged by giants and have forbidden to leave their strong and have been forbidden to leave their stronghold. A tube, the wise woman of the tribe, has asked me to find her troll fat and a Daedra heart so that she may contact Malakath for guidance. Bring troll fat and Daedra heart to a tube. What kind of name is a tube? Maybe it's a tub? A tub? Like a bathtub? Or a tub of some food or something? I don't fucking know. Um, I do not want to do that. Like I've said before, the skeleton key grants me basically an unbreakable lockpick. Um, I believe I will do Well then, we are going here. So we might as well fast travel to here. So as you can see, we have to p find the power of some power power in a giant cave where the power is hidden. The power is basically a shout. I believe it tells you find the hidden power or whatever and whatever whatever when it's a shout and then find the hidden word of power if it's a word to a shout or something like that. I have no idea. Find okay see as you can see there's two different things find the source of power and run vague fast or find the word of power in Forsaken Cave. Words of power are basically the second or third word obviously always the second to the word you have and basically you go there oh she is nuts Eat bacon. I should probably switch to my swords. So as I was saying, basically a source of power is a new shout you have yet to learn. You basically... <sighs> Great. You know what? We're just gonna fast travel again because I don't feel like going over no friggin' hills. I'm just gonna fast travel here and then we can head in a straight line to the cave. So as I was saying, a source of power is basically, if you've played Skyrim, you would know this and I'm pretty sure you have because they've sold millions of copies. So if anybody even bothers watching this, they've probably at least attempted Skyrim before. And as I was saying, oh, mother frickers, stop. So as I was saying, a source of power is basically a new word, a new shout that you have not learned yet. You go there, you get the shout, you learn it, booyah. Word of power is the second or third, depending on how many have words of the shout. The more words you have to a shout, the stronger your power, or well, the shout. And basically, if you have one, if you already have the power, then the second word you will find, or the second shout part of the shout will be the second word and it will make it stronger if you already have both of them the next word you find for it will be the third and final word and will make it its absolute strongest now to unlock every single word you have to spend a dragon soul on each and dragon souls are since you are the dragon born and can use the shouts or absorbed after you kill dragons now if you have not played skyrim i don't know why you're watching me i don't know why heck heck if you if you played Skyrim, I wouldn't know why you're watching me. But you know, if you are watching me, a thank you. So basically, as I was saying, the more words you have, the stronger the shout is. And basically, to get those words unlocked, you have to use Dragon Souls. And Dragon Souls are achieved by killing dragons. As you can, as you can see, you go to the shouts and it shows you how many Dragon Souls you have. And how many shouts you have. As you can see, Whirlwind is white, while Fury is just plain gray. And that's because I has I, uh, I almost said I has not. I have not used a Dragon Soul, since I have zero, to unlock the second word of Whirlwind Sprint. I haven't done much dragon killing on this playthrough. I've mainly stuck to exploring 
and such and just you know gaining my riches uh, dude you do realize you're dead already right Eh, he may not realize that oh shit's nuts oh my god their aim is so accurate This is getting troublesome. Let's switch to Ebony Arrows. Ebony Arrows deal four more damage than the um, the um, Blood Cursed Elven Arrows that I've been using because the Blood Cursed Elven Arrows are basically just Blood Cursed Elven Arrows and Elven Arrows only deal 16 damage. Unless of course I up my archery and then they should increase in damage as well I believe. And basically the Ebony Arrows and the Stalwin Arrows both deal 20 damage which is 4 more and the glass arrows deal 18 damage which is 2 more. I basically only carry them on me because I think they look cool and they basically weigh nothing so why why wouldn't I carry them on me? Yeah 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 you're dead. Shut up. Be quiet. I don't know why I took those arrows. You can't sell them. At least not for any actual value. You just give them away because you can sell them for zero. Let's just kind of get inside while we still, still can. Quick save. Run. 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 Into the red and bakes fast. Okay. We are going into the cave system. The video has been going on for about 10 minutes now. I will probably stop it in 5 to 10 more minutes. So we will probably not even get to the word of power in this video. But, you know, whatever. You're probably not even watching this video. But if you are and you wanted to see me get to the word of power, I'm sorry. Um, but I highly doubt that, so I'm just going to keep exploring um, for a little bit, you know? Just run down here. You've probably done this yourself plenty of times, it's very obvious. Fug your friggin' fudge. Okay then, you've been, you, you're, you're dead now, you don't have to do it anymore. Um, take the potions. Sorry, if I'm breathing kind of weird, I was kind of suppressing a burp or burp or whatever the f how are the frig you say it? Whatever. Um, a belch, maybe. You could call it a belch. Gold. There are more ghosts down there. We gotta kill them. We gotta finish them off. He is going to have to come up towards us, and once he does, we can finish him off. Okay, he's a lot stronger than we thought he was. Um. Oh, sorry, Serena. Um, he's dead. We're gonna take that. We're going to switch to this. We're going to go. We're going to use a greater soul gem to refill that. And a greater soul. Nah, let's just use some commons. I do not want to use up all my big soul gems. Let's check how many I have left. I have 10 black soul gems left, each filled with a grand soul. I have 15 common soul gems left. I have 18 grand soul gems left, which I could probably use a few of. And I have 24 greater soul gems. So greater soul gems I have the most of, meaning I can use those. And seeing as they'll replenish it more than common soul gems, I can just do that. Now. As you've probably thinking, you're probably thinking, why don't you just use multiple soul, common soul gems to replenish the same weapon? I don't do that because what happens if I end up having a weapon and it takes very little and, all, and like you can replenish it with a common soul gem. But I don't have a common soul gem because I use them all and so I have to use a greater soul gem to basically fuel a weapon that would only require a common soul gem. Also, I don't fall for shit like that. I've already seen that plenty of times anyways. Word of power learned. Kind, kind's peace. Okay then. That's an empty chest and he fell down there. I already know what's down there. It's some sort of asshole. He, he likes to kill you and stuff. Or well, not kill you, but try to kill you. Basically, you get locked in a cage. I think I've already been here. No, I haven't because I, I, I couldn't fast travel here, so I haven't been here. But basically, when you drop down there, you get stuck in a cage. And basically, the dude... Uh, don't tell me she dropped.
Well, I can't hit it. She should basically respawn near me, though. So that was a lot easier than I thought. I totally forgot about this place. I've been here on two of my other playthroughs already. And basically, um, I guess I just hadn't come here yet. So as I was saying, she should respawn. And the dude's a dick. He really is. He's easy to kill once you unlock the cage. But, you know, I don't feel like doing all that right now. We're gonna leave. We're gonna go out to Skyrim. I'm getting hungry. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't care what you want. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. Just shut the fuck up. Die. I could probably switch back to my bow. I don't know why I didn't just use my favorites, but whatever. Let's look around for some loot. There's no loot here. We're going to continue on. I never bothered to really check the skeletons. They might have a few septums. Let's just check it in anyway. Oh, lucky as we checked the skeleton. He had a thing, a spark thingy, sparky. Basically, as I was saying, I usually don't check skeletons because they usually don't contain very good stuff, but I usually... A lot of the times I do it anyways because they have gold sometimes and I like gold. Okay, we're not even going to bother fighting him. I don't feel like that right now. I highly doubt y'all would want to watch me fight a dragon. You've probably fought dragons in this game plenty of times yourself. You don't need to see me do that and I'm going to have to freaking run. He probably won't chase me. He's too busy flying around in the circle like a stupid idiot. Next thing you know, he chases me and I, I basically make myself look like the idiot. But whatever. So we're going to travel down here. We're going to just go a little ways. And then we should be able to fast travel easily to White Run. I don't believe I have any other houses at the present. I think the only house I have in this playthrough at present is the Breeze Home in White Run. I do not know why. I think, I think that's the case. I think I might have the one in Riften. No, I don't, because I think it would show on the map. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. You'd have to go to the city. But I don't care about going to look to all these freaking holds to see if I have a house in them. You can get a house here. You can get a house here. You can get a house all the way over here. You can get a plot of land here. A plot of land right over here. You can get a house here. You can get a house in there. You can get a house over here. And you can get a plot of land all the way down here. Here. And the last plot of land is all the way up here. And then, of course, in Winterhold, you can get access to basically the College of Winterhold where you are giving sleeping quarters. And if you pass the College of Winterhold storyline there, you are given the Archmage's, basically his um, personal little woody doodle where he did all his magic stuff and crafted potions and whatnot and you can live there which is good you also get his clothes which is kind of creepy if you think about it because he's dead then again i don't think you exactly get his robes because that would be really gross wearing the robes of a dead person i think they just have extra ones on hand i guess um i burn in sunlight apparently obviously i'm a vampire Let's go into War Maidens, where we like to sell weapons of all sorts, ranging from arrows to swords to daggers, whatever you need, we got it at War Maidens. Check out your local War Maidens today. This is not promotion for the store, because the store is only in this game. Get over it. If you want to go visit it, play Skyrim. If you haven't already played it, of course. The finest weapons and armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you always say that. As I said, I can't make a profit, but apparently plus zero septums is a better profit than carrying this crap around. And I totally agree. Even if it weighs nothing, these things are basically, they, they do nothing anyway, so I might as well sell them. They deal light damage, I mean light damage, but as you can see, from the amount of damage that my ebony arrows and my blood cursed arrows are doing, obviously it won't deal any damage at all really sell all this armor we don't need it we don't want it we don't even want to look at it we don't even want to like taste it 
Why would we taste it? I don't know, but you might want to taste some leather of armor filled with blood or whatever. I don't know. That's your that's your your choice. Um Might as well buy some of this stuff. As you can see, I'm now kind of low on freaking septums. Yes, I'm like that. I'll have like over a hundred in-game credits or in-game currency or freaking whatever they call it, whatever they want to call it. And I'll basically have like thousands of that. And then when I spend like more than a thousand, I'll be like, oh, I'm running low. I got to save up for more. That's just how I play. I am picky. I like money. I'm greedy. Okay, maybe not greedy, but I'm clingy. What do you call those people who hoard stuff? Hoarders or something like that? Well, I'm like that. As you can see, if you go into my house in White Run, in this playthrough, or my first playthrough, any of my houses in my first playthrough, and you'll find dozens of stuff, dozens of crap, dozens of pieces, heck, maybe even hundreds of basically trash that I don't even need anymore because I have better equipment, but I keep anyways because I don't want to bother having to go sell it. That's usually when I have to go put stu stuff up. I usually put stuff up before I sell stuff. And I'll keep the really expensive stuff like jewelry and circlets or whatever they call them. But usually I end up putting up weapons and armor and whatnot and not even bothering to go back to grab them to sell. I like the elven battle axe, but I did not train in two handed weaponry in this playthrough, so. I mean, heck, look, this does 26. This does 26. So apparently, to me, a dagger is just as deadly as a battle axe. Really weird, huh? My great sword is even less deadly than a dagger. Um, so I am going to make something, anything, whatever I like, whatever I please to make. So we are gonna make some cool, dope-looking, a, a, a cool, dope-looking glass great sword. Now I'm purely making this because I need to up my smithing. So I'm simply making what appears to get me the most money. Which would be that, but I don't have the materials needed to make that, so... I guess it'll be the Elven Warhammer. So, I am going to end this video off here, because I want to. You probably don't want to watch me smithing away. So I'm going to tell you this. If you like the video, Hit the like button. If you didn't like that video, then I guess go watch my other videos. Because what I'm going to say is going to require you to like my videos. And, you know, if you didn't like this one, go watch my other ones. You may like them. Basically, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button. That would help me up, out a lot. You probably didn't even watch this. But if you did, then you're listening. Then you're hearing. Then you know what I just said. And I thank you a lot. And I will see you guys in the video. Until next time.